Hello, good morning teachers. Uh, here I have another set of reviewers um, uh, which I just made I think a month ago. Anyway, so let's just start with this. Uh, number one, my friend, uh, my best friend lives Boritz, Boritz Road. Okay, now uh, if we're talking with prepositions of place or location, when uh, it is only the name of the road is given, you always have to use on, okay? Prep, prep, preposition on, like on Boritz Road, on Pilar Road, on Pilar Street, on Rojas Boulevard, on Ayala Avenue, like that, okay? So, Avenue, Streets, Boulevard, Road, use the preposition on, okay? When it comes to addresses or, 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 or like location, okay? So, on. Number two, both drill captains blank with the band. Okay, so here both the indefinite indefinite uh, pronoun plural form both uh, takes plural verb. Okay, so there you go. So you would say bo both drill captains practice with the band. Okay, so it's letter B. Next one, one fourth of the cake blank enough, uh, not enough for him. Okay, so number three and number four are actually related. So I have to also read number four and then let's uh, compare the answers. One fourth of the cakes, not enough, blank, not enough for him. Okay, so number three, as you noticed, uh, I mean, number three and number four, as you noticed, both are in fraction form and that's one fourth. And take note of the noun after it, or I mean the prepositional phrase and the object of the preposition after that. Okay, so here one fourth of the cake for number three, and number four is one fourth of the cakes. Now, if it's plural, I mean the noun is plural, it takes plural verb. If the noun is singular, it takes singular verb. Now, what's the difference when say one fourth of the cake and one fourth of the cakes? Okay, in number three, there is only one cake, and one fourth of it is not enough. Okay, <clears throat> I'm sorry. So, when I say one-fourth of the cake, there is only one cake. And one-fourth of that, a fraction of that, is, of that is not one whole cake or, I mean, a plural form anyway. So, you have to take singular verb for that. Now, when it comes to number four, one-fourth of the cakes. So, there are maybe like ten cakes and then uh, one-fourth of it is not enough for uh, I mean are not enough for, for him so there are a lot of cakes and one fourth of those cakes okay number of cakes okay one fourth of the number of cakes are not enough for him okay so it takes a plural verb okay so here number three one fourth of the cake is not enough for him and number four one fourth of the cakes are not enough for him okay so there you go number five we have here Two-thirds of the chicken. Okay, uh, number five and six are also related with number three and four. I mean, same rule. Two-thirds of the chicken, blank eaten. And number six, two-thirds of the chickens, blank eaten. Now, remember, take note of the noun or the uh, object of the preposition of after the fraction. Okay, so number five, it's singular chicken. That means there is one whole chicken and two-thirds of that. Okay, just two-thirds of that. But here in, in number six, chickens that means there are lots of chickens okay maybe 10 or 20 whatsoever and two-thirds of that okay there we're referring here of the number okay so here number five two-thirds of the chicken is eaten and then two-thirds of the chickens are eaten okay oh uh number six puede din siang were eaten okay puede din siya. uh since <coughs> wala siyang i'm sorry for that Anyway, so it's letter B and C for number 6 kasi wala siyang uh, time expression na yesterday, last night. So you, it can also be, uh, what says, it can be present or it can be past form. Okay, anyway. <clears throat> uh, number 6 also, we cannot say have. It's because it is in passive, oh no, active sentence. Letter D is only true if the sentence and the question is in passive form. Okay, so the answers here are just, I'm sorry for that. Uh, B and C. Next one. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, 70 years. Okay, times, distance, and what more? Amount of money always takes singular verb. Okay, so 70 years is a very long time to wait. Okay, so letter A. Number 8, 60 kilometers is a long ride. Okay, so again, because this is distance, as I've told you earlier, 10,000 10, pesos, it's amount of money, 
So it's not enough to pay the bills. Okay, so letter A. Number 10, 2,500 peso bills are gone. Okay, the answer here is letter B, are gone. Why? Why are? Why plural? Because here we're not talking of the amount of the money, but the quantity of the money. How many 500 peso bills? How many? There are 20. Okay? So here it's plural. So definitely it will take a plural verb, and that's letter B, which is R. Okay? There you go. Next, number 11. Since he met his new girlfriend, Juan never seems to be blank home. Okay, so actually in the expression, uh, I have this book from uh, Cambridge. University in London and then uh, actually I'm using that grammar book and it's really very nice I'll be going to start discussing all of the topics there because there are like I think 100 topics and they're and that's really very comprehensive and the grammar rules are really very uh, was this vividly explained detailed ex uh, I mean, the explanation is very detailed, like that. So, I'll be going to take videos of myself also discussing the whole book. Para uh, sa mga uh, nakapasa ng uh, let and then they're taking for the EPT or the English Proficiency Tests. And those who are also, who will be taking all uh, let also. It's good. <coughs> okay? So, just to, uh, check my page from time to time for, for, the, for the videos. Okay, so that's actually really very nice because it's, it, it's, it's from a British University, Cambridge University. Anyway, uh, so here, when the expression or the word is home, we, we always say like at home. Okay, so here letter C, number 11. Next one, number 12. The child responded to his mother's demands by th throwing a tantrum. Okay, there you go. Next, number 13, I think she spent the entire afternoon blank the phone. So, the phone, the expression on the phone, or the phrase on the phone, uh, based on the, the, the grammar book that I have, it's on, okay? So, I think she spent the entire afternoon on the phone. Uh, my fingers were injured, so my sister had to write the note for me. For me, letter A. Why? Because if you're asking someone to do something for you, you always have to use for, okay? So, for me, or for him, for her, okay? Next, number 15, the police caught the thief blank the corner of Cascade and Plum Streets. Okay, so a specific point of a certain place, we always use the preposition at, okay? At the corner, at the middle, at the edge, and stuff like that, okay? Or at the gate, like that. Number 16, it has been snowing blank Christmas morning. Okay, so here, the start of the time, so we say since... Uh, uh, since, I'm sorry. Why? Because it is uh, the sentence is in present progressive, uh, present perfect progressive tense. That means has or have plus been plus ing form. Okay. So we only use for since. For a uh, since is used with the start of the time or the period, and then for is used with the to whole period. And these two for and since are always used with the uh, uh, perfect tenses. It can be present uh, perfect tense. Or a present perfect progressive tense, okay? Like number 16. So it's since. Okay, next. Uh, what are the main ingredients of this casserole? Okay, there you go. Next one, number 18. My best friend, John, is named after his great-grandfather. So he was named after his great-grandfather. Okay? Grandpa stayed up until 2 in the morning. Okay? Not for or not of, not in, but it's until 2 in the morning. End of the time. Next, most of the work needs to be completed this month. Okay, most of the work, work is non-count uh, non noun or uncountable nouns. And most of it, okay, so there are also cases, uh, most, the, uh, the, the, this most, some and all, there are also, these are the special cases because when you're using it with non count noun, it always takes singular verb. But if you're using it with uh, count nouns or countable nouns, it always takes plural verb. Like, for example, most of the work needs. So it's singular, right? But uh, we say most of the people, people is countable noun, so it is like need, plural form of the verb. Okay? So there you go. Next number, 21. Neither Ben nor his sisters. Okay, so neither nor rule, either or, rule. You always have to take the nearer subject. 
Okay, so here the subject is sisters. So since sisters is called a plural, so we have to take plural verb and that is were, num letter B. Next, number 22. Oh, 22 and 23 are related. So take note of this, the director and producer. Okay, remember there is no article the or, uh, 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 I mean, there is no definite article the or there is no indefinite article a or on after the the, the, the conjunction and so if it if in that case uh, the two subject which is the director and producer refer to only one person okay so it takes singular verb so the director and producer is the best okay but number 23 the director and the producer so that means they refer to the two different people okay so the director and the producer are the best or you can also say were the best okay so it can uh, the two are possible answers here but if there is like a time expression like uh, was this last night or last year like that so you can only use were but since there is no such thing as that so there are two possible answers here and that's R and were okay so gold as well as platinum okay so here intervening phrases as well as together with in addition to and stuff like that it doesn't take, uh, it doesn't affect the subject verb agreement, okay? So the subject here is always the gold, the first stuff, okay? Before the comma, and uh, the, uh, after the comma and before the comma, I mean like the intervening phrase as well as platinum doesn't affect the uh, subject verb agreement. So our subject here is gold, and then since it's singular, it takes singular verb, okay? The gold as well as platinum has recently risen in price, not is. It is because risen is in past participle, and it must be paired with uh, has or have because this one is in the present perfect tense, okay? Has risen in price, okay? Since, since gold is singular, so we have to use has, not have. Not is because it is also in active form, not passive form. We can use is here uh, if it's in passive uh, sentence. But since it's an active sentence, we have to use has or have. But since it's singular, gold, so has. Okay, there you go, 25. The boss, as well as his colleagues, okay, as I've told you, this is related to 24. The boss is the subject here because as well as his colleagues is just an intervening phrase. So it doesn't affect the subject verb agreement. So the subject is boss or the boss and it takes singular verb. So it would say has been robbed by the robber, okay, has been, letter B. 26, one of the most intelligent two students who scores, okay. Uh, subject here, don't be confused with one and students, okay? Students is just object of the preposition of. It doesn't affect the subject verb, verb agreement, okay? Take note of that. And then the subject here is just one, and then it's singular, so it takes singular verb. So you say, who scores, okay? So there are two possible answers here, that's B and D, but take note of the second blank. Uh, who scores full marks is John. It's singular, Okay, John is singular, so we have to use is. So the answer here is letter B. Next, 27, the International Club, as well as uh, Choral Society and the Rowing Club. As I've told you, intervening phrases, International Club is singular, take singular verb. So needs to submit a new constitution. Next, number 28, the milk has gone bad. Uh, bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> has gone bad. Six gallons of milk. Has gone both his gallons of milk are still in the refrigerator. So the answer here is letter C. Okay. Next one, the large number of votes still. Okay, the large number. The expression the large number or the number in the a large number or a number. The number and a number. The number always takes singular verb and a number always takes plural verb. Okay, so here the number or the large number of votes still votes letter b okay so this the expression the number next one to an outsider the economics of the country blank to be in desiree seems to an outsider okay the economics of the country economics is singular okay take note of these words which has s in it but they are singular like mathematics aquatics uh, athletics but one physics economics okay measles Okay, moms, like that stuff. Okay, these words look to be, uh, look plural, but actually they're singular words. Okay, so it takes singular verb and that's letter B, which is sims. Okay, I hope this helped you a lot, guys, and uh, see you in the next videos. I'll be taking videos of myself uh, discussing the uh, comprehensive grammar 
in news by the, by by Cambridge University Press. Uh, that's the whole book. That's 100 more than 100 topics. I think 110 to be exact. And I'll I'll be also discussing my mathematics and sciences and stuff like that and some professional education. And I'll be also doing the debugging of the online reviewers that uh, are posted by by Sam because. As I've noticed, there are lots of mistakes on the answers, so be careful with that. Uh, do not just like get the, the the reviewer and then take the answer. That's uh, I mean, take the answers are all uh, take the answers correct. I mean, all of them are correct. No, don't uh, don't do that like that. Do some research. Uh, try to read some and know if the answers are correct or not. Okay. So there you go. I hope to see you again. And yeah. Uh, see you and God bless. Fighting lang teacher. Fighting, fighting. <laughs>